All right, guys, if you're thinking about living in Costa Rica, you're not going to want to miss this video because this is one of the major reasons people leave and don't even know it. Seriously, and when you hear what I'm going to say, don't click it off because you don't know what I'm going to say. This is a good one. It's a must-see if, if uh, you're thinking about living in Costa Rica. You don't want to miss this one. Hey, guys, I'm Michael Allen for TravelCostaRicanow.com. TravelCostaRicanow.com is a travel agency, so go to TravelCostaRicanow.com. Fill out the four-minute form. Be that much closer to the vacation of a lifetime we're like you, having best friends who live in Costa Rica, who know Costa Rica, totally hooking up your Costa Rica vacation. If you haven't subscribed, please do and if you want to help us combat that nasty youtube uh, algorithm please hit the notification bell and you'll see our videos as we put them up hopefully all right humor me for a minute uh where am i i'm about uh, 30 minutes north of van juan antonio and about 40 minutes south of jaco estarios este this is where they're uh, going to be doing the relocation tours and I'll be speaking uh, that the, the next one's in March but I came here to check it out beautiful place Ooh, beautiful place but if you're interested if Costa Rica's on your radar and you want to make sure it's right for you or or you want it you want to take it off the list hey Costa Rica's not right for you this relocation is going to be that the good the bad the ugly about living in Costa Rica why do I know that because yours truly is speaking and I'll try to talk you out of living in Costa Rica. And I would love to hang out with you guys around the pool answering all your questions. The, uh, all the info to the relocation tour retreat is in the uh, link. There's a link in the description below. And if you're watching this video two years from now, in 2025, because this is a good video, I still might be doing relocation tours here at this place. So check out the new, <laughs> check it out anyway. All right, guys, I'd be very interested for the people that, is e either, that either live in Costa Rica now or um, have lived in Costa Rica and have left. I would be very interested in your comments on this video. Uh, it helps me. It helps everybody reading and listening and all that. So I really appreciate your guys' comments. Even if it goes against what I say, I got no problem with that. Everything is good. Information, good. All right, now don't click this off when you think you know what I'm going to say because we're going to be talking about something you're like, ah, come on, Mike, really? Yes, re really. All right, so when people come, you know, make a decision to uh, move to Costa Rica and, it, and it's not for them, they leave. They leave. Doesn't work out. They never say, when people ask, so why'd you come back from Costa Rica? You know, I thought you are going to, you know, live the rest of your life down there. They never say, man... I just don't got the patience for it. I just don't got the patience for Costa Rica. They never say that. They always say the usual, it's always the usual go-to reasons. Ah, I miss my family, um, you know, uh, I have you know, health reasons, I couldn't make any money, it's too expensive. Those are the, the go-to explanations. Uh, the deeper ones are, are uh, deeper than that, and I've made videos on that. I think a lot of people uh, leave because, um, I don't want to say boredom, but they didn't do the things they said they were going to do when they had the time to do them. For instance, if you love the ocean and you said you were going to start swimming every day and you're going to walk on the beach every day and you're going to become one with yourself every day, but you don't do it and you live by the ocean, the ocean is a reminder that you're not doing the things you said you were going to be doing and you know it's a, it's a reflection on you, so it's just much easier to uh, get back on that hamster wheel, go back home and say, ah, you know, it's too expensive down there. Nobody says, well, I just didn't do the things <laughs> I said I was gonna be doing. Or a lot of people like to say the annoyances, the annoyances of Costa Rica, whether it's uh, dogs barking, gringo pricing, you know, waiting in a bank line or your waiter or bad service, whatever it is, those minor annoyances were too much and people can't put up with them. Now, they might, that might be one of the reasons, but I think it's, I think it's a, a lot deeper than that, okay? I think it's a lot deeper than that. Uh, it's patience, but it's past patience. Because when you say the word patience, it's almost got that connotation of something you need to work on. Like, before you go in the bank, you go, damn it, I'm gonna be patient when I get in there because I know how it's gonna be. Ugh! I'm going to be patient. Well, um, it, it, is, it is beyond that. Now, this isn't about 
lowering when you start living here about lowering your expectations because you just get that mindset well they're not gonna get it right anyway so eh, I don't care whatever it's a little bit of that it is a little bit of lowering your expectations but not it, it's a little deeper than that as well all right it's a little deeper uh, that's that's a curmudgeon type of attitude that's like uh, they don't do anything right here or you know everything is slow blah 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 so but yes kind of like lowering your expectations so when I say it's beyond patience a lot of people like underestimate what I'm saying they'll be like oh Mike you know I got patience you know what's the, what's the problem you know I'm patient I'm a patient person or they think they're the exception uh, to the rule when I say beyond patience I mean you got to go past patience you got to be it's like an Eckhart Tolle you know who he is you know uh, what's, what's those two books he wrote oh can't remember great books anyway I can't remember somebody put them in the comments I totally flash um, you got to be in the moment here you have got to be in the moment and live in the moment it's not patience anymore it's beyond it's this it's this every day in Costa Rica you know you there's people that are going to try your patience but we're not gonna be patient we're gonna be beyond that so whether somebody's building your house or it's the waiter that never gets your order right whether it's the bank lines whether it's the maintenance man that can't put on the goop you know to so your shower doesn't leak uh, uh, it's the gym I go to the gym they have <laughs> they have no uh, social manners in the gym uh, actually this hotel this hotel now this can happen down in Costa Rica so this is no knock on them this morning there was no water okay and there hasn't been water for quite a while this morning water's back but so I went I went to their little gym here worked out I'm sweaty 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 still no water I didn't fret I didn't I didn't freak out I didn't go oh my god what is this there's no water no I just kept going I uh, took a towel <laughs> went like this uh, put another shirt on and went to breakfast because I know the water is going to come on I, I got and again I'm not being patient I'm just going about it. I'm being in the moment and I'm living it so this beyond patience thinking permeates everything you do in Costa Rica the way you live life in Costa Rica and the people that can't accept this or they're always trying to be patient or they're like all the time causes great a, a great deal of anxiety and a great lot of stress now the interesting thing is you're surrounded by Ticos you're surrounded by Costa Rica where this beyond patience this tranquilo this pura vida pura vida I never say it right is natural to them it's in their nature they're way beyond patient so it's all around you if you just watch them you can go wow I wish I could be more like that I'm almost jealous of it in a sense because I've learned I learned this stuff a long time ago and I'm I'm pretty good I can definitely be it you know I I've gone way past patience patience is too stressful you know to think about I got to be patient so if you're going to live in Costa Rica you're going to have to have the mindset of a Costa Rican you're going to have to live it beyond patience you're going to have to live in the moment be you just be hmm total tranquilo pura vida and you, what you have to combine this this with is gratitude and humility because everything that's happening around you with that the, you're like annoyed with here which you know <laughs> I'm not saying I never get annoyed there's some times where I wanted to rip the blue hair off that waiter because you know what <laughs> you know I'm not saying that I'm like some sort of eh all the time I you know but I can reflect on it and I know what I'm doing and I can shut it down pretty much like that and get back on track and it doesn't happen that often with me any uh, anyway anymore but again you're gonna live in Costa Rica you're going to have to find that <sighs> trust me on this do not underestimate what I'm saying it permeates everything down here everything you know what where else are you gonna hear this stuff man where are you gonna hear this anyway guys I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day I'm gonna head back home uh, tomorrow um, morning it's four and a half hour ugh, shuttle ride fun times anyway guys um, 
I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. Things are going to pop up. And if you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere, especially Costa Rica, I would check out these videos. And if you really want to know if Costa Rica is right for you, you really should hit, the, hit up this relocation tour for real. Because it will, even if you don't, if Costa Rica is not right for you, you don't want to come down here and in a year and a half go, oh, we bought a house, we built land, and just, you know, frustration and lose a lot of money. All right? Peace.